Welcome to St. Augustine, Florida, and good morning. Today we're going to go to the cathedral, which is built on the cathedral of 1565. We're going to renew our baptismal vows there. First place baptisms were done in fonts here in the United States. We're going to see the uh, town and on the trolley cars. And then there's the Atlantic Ocean with a sunrise, and we're going to. We are, actually got everybody lounge chairs and they're going to be able to carry them and keep them and take them out to sit on the beach this afternoon. Free afternoon. The great thing about this trip is we're learning so much about our Catholic heritage in the United States. We've never been told the whole story, and it's fascinating to learn this, and everybody's going home ready to explain it to their friends and family because we've not been told the truth about all of our history in this country as Catholics. The cathedral has marvelous artwork that portray the history. Here, Mendez is kissing the cross before he plants the Spanish flag in the ground. And their purpose here was to teach the Indians not to conquer them or to take their land. They even had a catechism wrote, written in their native language with the help of the Indians who were linguists. And we had a great mass. We also renewed our baptismal vows in the font here, which is a replica of Ponce de Leon's hometown where he was baptized. And I read a passage of how Naaman the Syrian was dipped in the Jordan River and with leprosy, and he was restored like the flesh of a little child. And that was right before we go to visit, funny thing, the Fountain of Youth here in St. Augustine. baptism, I read it to remind us of that commitment today. And so I ask you if you are prepared to respond, I do. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. Are everlasting? I do. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. centuries, the 16th, 17th, 18th century, oftentimes you would find that women wore a chemise. It was also their night shirt. It could be very long, down to the ankles.
So here people are getting their drinks of water from the Fountain of Youth. Oh, I feel invigorated already. Invigorated <laughs> already. Yeah. while this portion of the Indian town was occupied as the first, first Catholic burial ground in the United States. The remains, which are buried just a few feet below the sand before you, first Indians buried as Catholics. For years here. However, on December 14, 1991, a reburial and full mass. There's a lot of wildlife here and they have over 60 peacocks on their grounds and lots of old cannons from the ancient times and also these Spanish replicas, of course, of Spanish forts and towers. And then we had demonstrations of the weaponry, including a cannon going off, but I missed getting the shot. I'm sorry. She does not have. She doesn't have a sighting system. All right, no front or rear side aperture. So familiarization with your own crossbow greatly led to your efficiency and your accuracy with the weapon. No kayakers. <laughs> All right, guys. First one in the morning. This is the houses of the Indians at the time. Made out of plants. guy building it now in one of their canoes that they're carving out even now. This is what one of the early churches looked like that they built out of wood. You can see Janet standing in the entryway of one of the first chapels. And this is uh, the sacristy and me standing in the worship space looking forward toward the altar. Everybody always likes to shop and buy some memorabilia to take home with them and also we just our trolley came and one of the beautiful things was our trolley driver was so Catholic and excited about the faith. It was a pleasure being with him. This is the oldest Catholic cemetery in the United States right here. This one maybe twice a month you'll be able to get inside but not today. But that is it, the Talamanto Cemetery. Talamanto Cemetery. All right, we'll the parking lot to continue our tour downtown. This is a tall cross, 200 feet tall, marks the place where Menendez came ashore and kissed the cross before he planted the flag for Spain. We'll be back here tomorrow. So we're heading out to the beach. Here we go. Hello, Rochelle. So here we are at the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know where all our folks are, but they all have nice chairs, lounge chairs. We're sitting out here and enjoying the waves today in the warm sun. And there's Rochelle out enjoying the weather. Whoa, step back. We met up with the folks that decided to stay back there in uh, in St. Augustine for the day. And uh, now we're going to go walking around the town, find food, enjoy the place before we go back to the hotel at 8.30 tonight. So here we go. Beautiful streets here, pedestrian only, warm. These two, no masks required anywhere. Our group just isn't wearing them except in places where it's required of us. Lots of places to eat here for our folks. Lots of exciting places. Right now, in the 
You can pick one of the places with lively life or a quiet cafe for some great seafood. Lots of quaint places to eat and enjoy the day. Well, our faithful bus picked us up right on time at 8.30 downtown and brought us back to our hotel here. And there is the Atlantic Ocean. And we're saying good night for tonight. It was a great day. Everybody had a lot of fun. We learned a lot too. And we're ready to take off again first thing tomorrow. Actually, not until 10.30. We're giving people some free time in the morning before we head to the Le Leche Shrine, where there's a lot of history. Looking forward to it. Outdoor picnic and mass. It's going to be a great day.